Hi, I'm Julian Grimm. And today we're gonna make perfect drums sound less perfect. Come with me, join me in this journey. Okay, so in the last video I showed you how to use stake lanes in Ableton Live 11 to create new and creative drum patterns out of old and pre-made drum patterns. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't watched it, please go back and watch it before this one because I think it makes sense. But anyways, today we're gonna make those drums sound even more original and more fresh and more new and more human. Because you know, I know it's unavoidable. At some point humans are gonna become machines. And I gotta admit, I can't wait until I'm able to just download Kung Fu into my body. I know Kung Fu. But till then, we still like imperfect things and we're gonna make these drums imperfect. Because you know, when a real drummer plays, his body and his brains add a bunch of variables, right? How strongly he hits the drums each time. He never hits the drums the same twice, right? He might get also a little tired and weaker at some points, more angry and stronger at other points, you know? And also, sometimes his mind might wander off to a faraway land and he might forget how he played the chorus last time and he might play the other chorus completely different. And that's also cool. That can add a lot of interest and intrigue to a drum track, right? It's cool. It's nice. It's human. But when it comes to MIDI drums, how can we achieve the same effect? We can always manually play the drums on a drum pad, on a keyboard, whatever. But that's, that's a lot of work, right? And I'm not a drummer. To play punk rock music like I like to play, I, ha I have to have really fast fingers. And I do have some pretty fast fingers, but I still get tired and sometimes I just want to get on with my track without having to worry about the drums so much. So if I'm using the pattern that I already had from the last video, right? That's ready, it's done for me. I just want to add some, some uh, variables to it. How could I do this? Well, let's go into the software, right? So here's the little pattern. First of all, remember commitment. Let's delete the take lanes because we don't need them anymore. Let's select these drum clips, command J, consolidate them into one. And now I can double click it like this and open the MIDI editor. So I could go in here and just go nuts. Like uh, I can edit the timing a little bit of these and I could uh, edit the velocity of each one like this and I could delete this one just to make it a little bit in this one. You could do that, you really could, you know? And it's fine if you want to do it that way. But now with Ableton Live 11, there's a new way to add some humanity into these MIDI clips without having to spend so much time doing it. And these are with the two new features, Chance and Velocity Range. So again, I double clicked the MIDI clip, it opened down here, right? Let's make it big by dragging it up right here. You see that now, we have this new arrangement of buttons here. Some buttons were here before in Ableton Live, some are new, but we have velocity range. This is the first thing I wanna talk about. Velocity range adds a little bit of inconsistency to how strong each note is played by your MIDI drummer. If you go down here, there's this little button that opens the velocity editor, right? Let's select all the toms right here. You can see their velocities down here. And the guy who programmed these drums, he, he did a good job by like giving them different velocities and all that stuff. But if you want them to be even a little bit more wobbly and human, we can raise the velocity range or lower it. So you see there's these little bars coming out of their velocity measures down there, you see this? So this means that every time these notes play, the velocity can be anything from here to here. And every time it's gonna be something different. So that makes everything really more exciting and more unpredictable, I would say. And it's very subtle to hear it first, so let's undo it and let's hear how it was. Now I'm gonna really exaggerate this, yeah? I'm gonna make it real big, like this. Each time those notes are hit, the velocity is actually anything from here to here. It's really cool. I'll leave it to something more sensible, like this maybe. And I'll show you the next feature that's really cool to add some inconsistency into your drum tracks. So uh, the next feature is called Chance. And it's exactly that. It's like the chance, it's the probability of the notes hitting every time the playhead goes through them. I'll show you how it works. It's easy if you look at it. Okay, so let's close the velocity and let's open Chance like this. You see, chance varies from 100% to 0%. 100% being that every time the playhead goes through the note, it's gonna play. 0%, it means that it's not gonna play at all, never. And 50%, it's gonna play 50% of the times. So again, we have the toms here. Let's put the toms at 50%. And let's listen to how that sounds.
You see, every time the playhead goes through the loop, different toms are played, which is really cool. Let me do the same thing to the little few here in the end. So the first note I wanted to play every time, but the last ones, let's just make them 50 as well. You see, every time it goes through the little few, it's different. And that's really cool, because that's exactly how a drummer would play that song, right? Maybe he got a little tired when he was doing the toms and he played them a little bit wobbly. Maybe he forgot how he did the feel, so every time he does the feel, he does something different. It's really cool that you can add this so quickly in Ableton Live 11. It's so quick. And now you're listening to it and you're like, cool, that's really cool, because I'm gonna have like some things that I've never thought of before. I'm gonna have some patterns that I wouldn't have thought of by myself. But what if I listen to a pattern that I really like, but then it's never gonna be played Again, because the chance of being played again, it's like 50% for each note. Oh, it's never gonna be played the same. I lost a pattern. What am I gonna do? I got you. Don't worry about it. Let me show you how you can use another new feature of Ableton Live 11 that I talked about in my last videos. Do you remember take lanes? To have all your little variations saved forever, secure for you in multiple takes. So what can we do? I'll show you. It's really easy and it's really cool. So insert an empty MIDI track like this. And now you can drag your MIDI to this track. That MIDI still has all the chants, all the velocity ranges, everything still there. You drag it down here, still all there. See? Rename it. Let's rename it Drummer. This MIDI track is now our drummer. Go back to the track that has your plugging on. See Steven Slade Drummer right here, this track. And as your input, choose Drummer and you can put it pre-effects, post-effects, it doesn't really matter. And now this track is free to be recorded on. You see? You can record enable it. And now you can record whatever this track does on this track. And you can listen to it at the same time. So we got the loop on here, as we always did. We can right click the track. You see, show take lanes is selected. But if it's not, you can right click, show take lanes. And if you press record, you're gonna see the magic happen. Just check this out. And you see, we got all our different variations in different take lanes, and they're all different. You see, the hits vary a little bit. You can see the toms vary. You can see the feel really varies every time. Look at it, because these are the variations from this track recorded onto different take lanes on this track. And now you can do whatever you want. You can press B for pencil, or as I like to call it, B for pencil, and just choose whatever part you like the most, like we did before, or, you can also say, I have two sections of this verse. I don't want the drums to play exactly the same in, this, in these two sections. So you can drag takes wherever you want, like this. You see, now I have the same pattern, kinda, next to each other, as if he was a real drummer. Like the drummer played the first section of the verse like this, and the second section of the verse like this. It's really cool, because it makes it sound really different. And you can just go crazy, spread them around your song, like this, you can zoom out, spread them around, and make a new arrangement out of different variations that you created in take lanes using chance and velocity range in Ableton Live 11. It's really cool. I hope you guys understood it all. I hope you guys have fun with it more than anything. And we're done with the drum section of our Ableton Live 11 series. So in the next video, I'm gonna talk about guitars and bass. So subscribe now if you wanna see how I make this pedal board in Ableton Live. And I hope to see you guys next time. Please press all the buttons that help me out there in this world. Till next time. Bye.